Welcome back to another video and today I have the ROG Harp Ace Aim Lab Edition Wireless Gaming Mouse. This is a wireless and wired mouse. You can connect up to three devices. And why I'm using this with the keyboard is because it's able to connect both devices using this one receiver. So this is the ROG Omni receiver. And using Speed Nova wireless technology, which is in the 2.4 gigahertz radio frequency mode, it's connecting simultaneously to my PC and configured using the ROG Armory Crate app, which you already should have. So this has been very, very fast in terms of latency and response, very, very little input lag. And the report rate between the 2.4 gigahertz Speed Nova and the Wired is the same 1000 hertz, meaning you're not gonna really lose out on connection if you're just relying totally on wireless. And as for Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth 5.1 and it will connect to any supported device, whether it's your laptop or your desktop or even your phone if you really wanna do that. And as you can see, my Harp Ace Aim Lab Edition looks very, very unusual because I showed that only the left half is covered in the grip tape that is provided in the box because it's got a, not only a very nice design flair, but it also has a very good rubbery grip that is good for fingers like mine that will slip off from here. So I put this only on the left half so that you could see how it looks without the grip tape. And right after this video, I'm gonna continue putting the rest of the grip tape. Before I get into the shape and the weight and what I think about it, let's talk about the sensor. So this is ROG's own Aimpoint optical sensor, which is their new generation sensor that goes all the way up to 36,000 DPI. And it claims to have less than 1% CPI deviation so that in that standard, that's very, very little deviation. That's almost none. That's a pretty good number to run by. So if you're an esports player or a serious gamer, or you're just looking for something to complement a white setup, I would say this is a very beautiful, ideal, technically superior mouse. Because even the L and R both have switch types and it's ROG's own mechanical switch, which is rated for 70 million clicks in terms of lifespan. It is a typical five button mouse. You can see both the side buttons on the left side, your left and right clicks and your scroll wheel, and that's about it. And you can configure these to run specific actions in the ROG Armory Crate app. And in terms of the shape itself, it's very symmetrical without any bias to either side. So even left-handers can use and adjust this accordingly to the, uh, you know, Dexterity? So customization on the Harp Ace Aim Lab Edition is pretty crazy because your DPI button is just at the bottom here and once you just press that, you can already start using your scroll wheel to configure what kind of DPI you want. But in terms of that sensitivity, the polling rate is already default at 1000 Hz and there are already four profiles on the mouse which will be indicated via a certain selection of colors. So it starts from 400 to 800 and what I'm using now is 1600 all the way up to 3200. If you want to go higher or lower, you have to configure it in the performance section in the Armory Crate app which can go all the way up to 36,000 which is definitely not for me. You can also enable things like angle snapping and angle tuning for you to tune just how many degrees uh, is needed for your type of gaming when you want to make those sudden turns and making those flicks at those really sharp angles and whatnot and including the liftoff distance which is you can set either between high or low and finally besides just the anti-slip grip tapes there are also replacement mouse feet here that you can set so that you know you can have a different level of glide and of course to replace when you know these already pre-installed ones get scratched up over the years. As per usual, in the Armory Crate app, you can also upgrade your firmware for both the mouse itself and of course the dongle, which you will use to connect all these devices together. So the Armory Crate app is pretty important, so don't forget that. This is also an Aim Lab edition, which means they've collaborated with the free-to-play Aim Lab game, which is available on Steam, that is designed to help FPS gamers get really serious in upskilling themselves to performing better in their future games. So they've calibrated this mouse together with Aim Lab and provided an avenue for people to really get used to just one piece of hardware 
while training intensively using the Aim Lab game. When you buy a Harp Ace Aim Lab Edition, you also get the skins for free for the practice guns in Aim Lab, as well as a special title, which automatically enters your inventory. So in terms of battery life, I'm sure you're pretty curious because definitely you'll be using this wirelessly. And this is actually my go out of the house setup because I bring this low profile keyboard with me and this mouse and connect it to my Flow X13 when I'm on the go because it's just one receiver for two pieces of hardware. So that's pretty ideal for my use case. And when I come home, I play games on it already directly. So I don't have to get familiar with another mouse. Since it only has one source of RGB lighting, which is just the mouse scroll wheel, it will last about 80 hours on default lighting if it's just breathing just like this. But if you're just using it purely without lighting wirelessly, it will go about 86 hours last I remembered when I just played Helldivers continuously for a couple of days. But that's not too far off from the company's 90 hour claim. And that's really well and dandy because those things are usually done in controlled environments anyway to see how far it can really go. It's lightweight, it's 54 grams, the weight reduction methods that they've used is pretty good. It's a nylon material based construction, which is pretty nice in terms of hand feel. And of course I would go with the grip tape for that extra grip so that it stays stable because this is not like a brand new product from them. This is actually from the ROG ACE series and this is just a successor to that successful pedigree of gaming mice that ROG has made that even esports players use up till today. So thank you guys for watching, I'm Zendergeek and I'll see you guys in the next video.